Hey y'all, this is Living My Best Life and I hope you're having a great day. I have one of my subscribers. They have a question for me and they also would like to get uh, my subscribers input. So um, I apologize. I told you that I would have this video up Monday. Got busy. Wasn't able to do it. So here I am on uh, Tuesday making this video for you. Okay. So um, I just got off work. I'm a little tired but I'm going to try to do my best. Okay. And um, here's, the que here's the question. I was wondering could you do a video on something I'm going through right now. I'm involved with a much older man. He's 26 years older than I and I have two kids from him. I've been with him since I was 20 years old. Our relationship is not so well. We have nothing in common. Really. But I just can't let go. There's some emotional abuse. It happens rarely but it does happen. It's not about money with him because I have a good job. I'm an LPN but it's some other connection that's making me stay. I tried leaving, but I just can't get over the hurdle. He doesn't understand the meaning of a dollar. He doesn't save anything. I have my own account and he has none. I'm 30 and he's 55. Seems like I'm the adult in the home and I can't live like this anymore. Can you please give me some advice and can you do a bid so I can see your subby's response to my situation. Can it may be I'm looking at him as a father figure because my dad was never involved in my life? I was told that by a friend. My mom and I had a rough relationship when I was a teenager and he came along and showed me the attention. I was looking for and I've been attached ever since. And I can't let go but I need to because I feel the relationship is not healthy at all. I hope I'm not bothering you, but it's funny how you can open up to a complete stranger and can't with your family. Thanks. Okay, um, let's see. You're in a relationship with somebody that you feel is not good for you. I would, I would tell you this here. You have to do now, you know I'm a Christian. So, you know, any of my counsel or my advice is going to be godly based, okay? So, um, that's how I live my life. That's where I get all my counsel from is God. So, being that you ask me, um, I'm sure that you know it would be godly advice. Um, I would tell you, you said that you and your mom were, um, you were a teenager. You know, I don't know if you meant you were a teenager when you met him and he, and he was a grown man. I'm not sure about that. But, um, you have to do what pleases God, baby. And not only that, like you even said that you know the relationship is not healthy. So being that the relationship does not please God and the relationship is not healthy, I believe you already have your answer. And, um, there's nothing, you said that you feel like you can't, you can't get over the hurdle. You can get over this hurdle, honey. Um... Don't think you can't because you can. You can do all things through Christ that st who strengthens you. You can do all things. You have to ask God to sever that soul tie that's been connected with you and this man. And that's exactly what it is. See, a lot of people think marriage is um, um, going to the uh, courthouse, getting a piece of paper, and that is it too. But see, being that God created and designed marriage, once you sleep with somebody, you become connected spiritually. So what you're experiencing is the soul tie. It's hard for you to break from the soul tie. You're going to need the strength of God to help you. So, um, uh, and, and if you don't know what a soul tie, it's almost like if you were to take a piece of bubble gum um, and, and take the bubble gum and stick it to some carpet and pull it up you're going to get the fibers of the carpet in the bubble gum and that's how it is when we uh, start to have sex with people our souls are ripped uh, away and it, and it becomes one with the other person's spirit yeah that's the plan of God that's how God designed it that's why a lot of times we are in, that, that's why it's not good for us 
And I hadn't learned this too, honey. It's not good for us to uh, sleep with a whole bunch of people. You know, a lot of times we'd be doing a whole bunch of stuff and making relationships outside of the will of God. And then things begin to happen. We don't know, even with abuse, this man's abusive. But I'm still here. Why? Because it's the godly, the ungodly soul tie. You know, marriage was ordained by God. And it's what it is. But I would, I would tell you that um, continue to uh, seek God. And do those things that you know are pleasing to God. Once you begin to do things that are pleasing to God, He will give you the strength to overcome any obstacle that you can, that, that you have or that you're going through. So that's what I would tell you. There's an order. God has set an order for relationship. God has set an order for marriage. Uh, my good friend, um, Lady Lovely Lots, just did... A great video uh, talking about um, should my boyfriend pay my bills. Um, so I think some of the things she said on there would help you also. If you would like to check out her video. But I believe you already know in your heart what you need to do. Um, whenever something doesn't please God. Um, sometimes we just can't get rest. And that's why. Because we're out of the will of God. But um, I believe that's about all I can really um, say to you is um, pray, search the scriptures, read the scripture, and see what is pleasing to God. Um, and when you find out what's pleasing to God, then begin to do that. Ask God to give you the strength. He's not a God that's so far away and that don't know what we're going through. He can't hear us, don't see what we're going through. Ask God to help you uh, do the things that you need to do that will please Him. Okay, so you're, you're not in a place uh, where a lot of us haven't been. A lot of us have been there. I've been right there too, honey. Felt like I just couldn't get out of a relationship that I know was not good for me. So once you know that something is not good for you, do what you have to do to get out of that relationship. Especially when it's an ungodly relationship. God will bring you out. He will strengthen you. And God will heal you. And God will also bring... What, whatever thing you need, he won't withhold it from you. Uh, a lot of times, sometimes, you know, women, we feel like a husband or a boyfriend or a man is going to bring us happiness, but it's not. It's not. we got to get happy with ourselves. And also, you mentioned about, did I think you would see him as a father figure? Do you know what a father is? Do you know the role of a father? If if you didn't have a father in your household, what are you what are you what are you comparing to a father? You understand what I'm saying? If you didn't have a father, how do you know what a good father is? What example what pattern are you looking at to say that's a father? Uh maybe it was some other reasons why you chose him. Um, I don't know. A lot of times when older men uh, uh, date younger women that are hurt, a lot of times they, they be, they're very manipulative. A lot of times they're operating in our hurt, in our uh, e emotions. They see our vulnerability, so they pick us. So you don't know really why, what was his motive in choosing you, especially if he was an adult and he was a child. Now, I got that, that's the issue right there together, honey. If he was a grown man and he was a teenager, he had no business with you no way. We classify that as being a pedophile. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you, it may have started out wrong. You understand? So I would tell you, um, seek God in prayer. Ask God to strengthen you. Give you the strength to do the things that you need to do for you. Okay? Um, so basically that's what I would say, and um, I hope I was sort of clear, not just PM me, um, to my subscribers, if you guys want to do a video for her, and um, give her some more godly counsel, uh, she is asking that you do that, or if you want to just comment in the bottom uh, about uh, what you think she could do, or some of you got more testimonies, you can upload a video, or just make comments in the bottom, because she did ask for some of my subbies, um, advice okay so I thank you and I pre and, and I know sometimes we can't always talk to family we can't and I do appreciate you though for um allowing me to speak into your life but like I would say again if you know it's not good for you you know it's unhealthy 
Um, oh, and another thing you mentioned, you said that it's not about money with him because you make your own money. Well, if he got children from you, he still has a responsibility. Okay, you're not supposed to uh, be taking care of your children by yourself just because you can't afford to. If they're his children, he has a responsibility of doing it too. And a lot of women fall into that. They'll say, I don't need his money. Um to take care of my kids because I make my own money. No, he has a responsibility too. If, if they're his children, he has a responsibility to take care of his children just like you have a responsibility to take care of them, okay? So anyway, um, seek God. Uh, get in his word. Find out what God says um, about your situation. Pray at Holy Spirit to show you what you need to do, how you need to do it. Because I can't just say get out with no plan. So ask God to give you a plan on how to come out. How to come out, you know, because sometimes it can be dangerous. I don't know what type of man he is. I don't know if he's violent or anything like that. But sometimes if you're in a dangerous situation trying to leave someone, it can be violent. So you need a right plan to come out, okay? So I don't want to just say, oh girl, leave him, get out. You know, you got to have a plan. You got to have some clarity when you're trying to separate yourself from someone, especially when you've been with them so long. So seek the, seek the face of God. Seek the Holy Spirit. Read your word. Pray. Uh, get other godly counsel, okay? And from other people also. But that's what I would tell you to do. Uh, find out what pleased God and ask Him to give you the strength to do that which pleases Him. You don't have to take abuse or suffer abuse or be in a relationship that you know is not healthy. Not going anywhere. Why? Why would you? You don't have to. It's not the, God's will for you to be in an unhealthy relationship. God, if, if it's the will of God, He has a healthy marriage for you. If it is His will, okay? So don't don't settle for um, um, uh, anything that's not in the will of God for your life. Find out what the will of God is in your life. Sometimes we have people in our lives that God didn't even want to be in our lives. We just picked them for whatever reason. I think you also may need to let God heal your heart. Let God show you how to be a mother, how to be a wife. And let God show you what a father is. Oh, he's the best father. And he can show you what a father is, okay? And, and the men that are coming into our lives, they're not supposed to be our fathers. We don't hold them on because they're our fathers. No, they're supposed to be our husbands, okay? Alright, so I hope that helped you. My time is coming and gone. Subscribers, please help her out. And once again, thank you for allowing me to speak into your life. I hope this helps you. God bless.